Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So, in this lesson we're just going to finish up the damage effects. So, we're in the opponent health script. And we're going to pick up exactly where we left off. Filling out the sparks position function. But first, if we come to the damage effects, and we're going to copy this top if statement. If current opponent health is less than opponent health halved and above one quarter. So let's just paste that in. And also let's copy the other if statement in that function in the damage effects. And we'll paste that in as well. So it looks like actually I missed out uh, the comments for that. Um, I'll fill those in later. I'm sure you don't need me to go over that. Um, I'm also, before we fill out those two if blocks, I'm going to come up to the void start. I realised I made a mistake here. So opponent health halved equals maximum divided by 2. And then I've put current opponent health equals maximum divided by 4. Obviously that should be the opponent health one quarter. So let's save that off. And we also need another close bracket there. So let's now begin to fill out these functions. So this one, the top if statement is going to be for the light spark. So let's say underscore. And we're going to say light sparks dot transform dot position. And that's going to equal a new, and obviously it's going to be a type vector 3. We'll open and close brackets, we'll close the line off. I'm going to come inside the brackets and I'm going to enter there. And first I'll get this comment in place. I'll put set underscore light sparks position to equal a new vector 3. And I'll just put at. And then I'll come to the line below. And I'm coming before the close bracket and we're going to say random dot range and we're going to open and close brackets again we're going to come inside that bracket and we're going to say underscore current position dot x plus underscore the sparks modifier x we're going to use a comma we're going to say current position dot x and then we're going to use minus the sparks modifier on the x So let's have a look at this line. I'm going to come after the first close brackets to begin with. I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to enter. So don't worry about the red error. We'll fix that up. Um, let's break this, um, <clears throat> this line up for commenting. I'll put a random range 
Um, let's put between the Sparks modifier And I'll just put up to positive. I think that will do for the comments and the sparks modifier negative. And we'll enter there. Now, we'll need to... In fact, I should, probably should put X axis in there. Because we're going to copy and paste this code for the Y axis. So just copy the random range line. Let's paste all that in. And of course, we're going to change everything to Y. So let's change this one to Y. And the sparks modifier to the Y axis as well. And we're going to enter there. We're going to say underscore current position dot Z. And that's it. And that's all we're going to do for the Z axis or Z axis. And the current position on the Z axis and that is it obviously we can just copy that and we can paste it in the if box below and of course we're just going to change the first line to dense sparks So let's actually just move these up so I can see what we need to change. So let's save that off. I don't think I need to change anything there. So let's have a quick look through. I think that's everything we need. Don't think I've missed anything there. Let's just go to the console. We'll hit play and we'll test this out. So we're just going to let this run through. As normal and We'll come into the match now. We still have our shortcuts to cut the opponent's health. So let's do that. And we'll cut it just under half. And we have the light smoke and sparks effect working. So let's hit zero. Um, sorry, O again. And we're switching to the dense sparks. So let's have a look. The sparks are a little bit low. So this is the problem you may have. Um
So let's have a look on the Y axis. We create this float effects default height. So we're using the current position. Let's just copy that one in for the Y. So random dot range current position dot Y. It's now going to be the effects default height and we actually don't need the Y now and we're going to change it just below here and let's come to the actual dense sparks and we'll just do the same We'll just move the current position Y and we'll change that to effects default height as well. So this is sort of optional and um, it will depend on the models you're using. Some of you may find that the current position Y works absolutely great with the models you're using. Um, if not, of course, you can do this. We've created the float. If you find you have the same problem I do with the models you're using, with the effects being a little bit lower than what um, is ideal. So I do try and do these videos when I work out the coding. Um, I do realise you're using different models and things like that. So I always try and do things like this, you know, that will work across everybody's project. So I do try my best to do that for you. Um, but we'll test this out again. So as you can see now, the actual sparks around where I want... Um, I think the modifier probably could do with adjusting. But at least in, in and around the torso area, I'll hit um, O again. So we drop below a quarter. And there's the dense sparks. So, um, it's actually a little strong that... Um, the sparks um, effect. So if I just um, nerf those particle systems just a little bit and we'll stop that there and I will come back and I will of course actually um, experiment with the modifiers and you will need to do that also. But as you can see it is working. The damage effects are in place. Um, we'll quickly in the next video or two get this copied over to the player and then we can move on and do other things. I really want to do some more with the AI. Again, I apologise for the long delays in videos. Still recovering. I'm getting a lot better after the operation but um, I'm still feeling quite tired at times so please just bear with me. I'll try and get videos out when I can and we'll leave it there for this lesson. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time and until then, as always, bye for now.